What's up, y'all? This your girl Giggs. Welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be my review on Love and Hip Hop episode four. I want to start off by saying that they did show a portion of the love in the title Love and Hip Hop for the first time because all of the Love and Hip Hops that I have been seeing, even the New York episodes, I haven't seen the love that I seen. Um, on episode 4 of Atlanta with Rashida and Kirk I mean as far as the eye can see because I don't know what goes on behind closed doors and under their roof but as far as the eye can see uh, that's the way you're supposed to handle things if you're in a relationship so everybody should have took notes then the way they communicated was amazing the way that they solved each other's you know issue with each other was amazing the way you know they presented their problems and you know worked it out and listen not 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 just you know talking but listening and hearing and intaking and you know just you know marinating and what each other had to say and you know that they they portrayed love they portrayed love again as far as the eye can see because you never know what happens under closed doors you know but um i i think that you know that was a good thing for mona to show as far as love and hip-hop because it was mostly you know <laughs> hip-hop and i don't really want to say that it was mostly hip-hop because some of it is you know r&b and some of it is you know I don't know because I have no idea what Jocelyn do everybody is still wondering what the fuck Jocelyn do you know I, I, I don't know I'm not searching for it though you know you know if it ever present itself it, pre it present itself but I'm not searching for it I give two fucks about you know what she do but you know I, I, I just I don't know these people. I'm just being real. I I heard of Rashida uh, back in the days. And Lil Scrappy, I heard of them back in the days too. And the rest of them are all, you know, the rest of them is like, damn. I know way too many people here that right now that I didn't know last year. Who the fuck are y'all, you know? So I don't know these people. But I do know love when I see it. And as far as, you know, the camera show, Rashida and Kirk, I commend you on how y'all, you know, worked that out. Y'all did that. I really do commend y'all on that. Um, now, where the fuckery, you know, begins, because like I said, it's not really hip-hop, it's just fuckery. Where the fuckery begins is when, uh, you know, this motherfucker is cooking breakfast and taking this bitch to the abortion clinic and the way she said it was like as if, if it was part of the uh, everyday schedule and it, it seems like to me she's too much into him that she forgot about herself you are too much into stevie J that you forgot about yourself it's okay because uh, as a as a woman and i don't i still don't know what if you're a man or a woman but you have feminine feelings you know and even men have feminine feelings that's the bitch side of them some of them show their feminine ways so you have feminine ways and I was hurt for you. I, I even if the the, uh, the abortion thing was staged or whatever. I don't know. We all don't know the truth, but you know, whatever that was, you know that was wrong. The, 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 I don't care how anybody look at it. That was wrong for any woman to go through and for how the man reacted to it. And 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 I use that word, you know, very 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 very. very briefly when I speak of Stevie J because he ain't no motherfucking man he is he is a monster y'all and, and for everybody that's out there that's trying to become something and have a talent it don't matter if it's singing dancing you know you know shitting in the in the toilet at a at a, a short speed of time or some shit you know whatever your talent is you need to know that it's people out there just like Stevie J it's people out there that are pimps. They're pimping whatever it is that they do. They not just because they don't have no, you know, you don't see the prostitutes out there, you know, on the side of the street thumbing and showing a titty and showing a thigh and you know stopping every car and man that walk by. Just because you don't see that shit, you know, see it, see it visually, it happens 
and especially in the music industry and you know the television and you some most of these women have to use their sexuality to get what they want and they some of them literally use their sexuality some of them literally do that and jocelyn just was you know another one bites the dust you know what i'm saying uh mimi been through this shit already with stevie j this isn't nothing but a rerun so i don't even understand why people think mimi and stevie j together because obviously they're not this nigga you know, sleeping on, on the house with you and then in the morning he cooking breakfast to, for the next bitch to go get the abortion. You know what I'm saying? And the way she just she just fell right into it. I love you too and you know, I'm ready to do this and did you ever love me? Did you ever Stevie Stevie you you you, you, you cook me breakfast and then you take me to the abortion clinic. That's the least you can do. <laughs> Y'all she came I ain't even gonna lie, girl. You had me rolling. You had me rolling. You really did have me rolling. I'm, I'm gonna be the first to admit this because every, every bitch might not admit this shit. But when I first, you know, knew who Jocelyn Hernandez was, I just heard her speak. The first person I thought of was you, girl. It was the first person that I thought of. And then when you did the video, uh, I, I just busted out laughing. I just busted out laughing. Like, I had my life then. I really did have my life for the night, for real. Um, but Jocelyn is, she got feminine feelings and feminine ways, but she just don't know. I'm like, when you bitches gonna have enough? When Mimi gonna have enough? When even Erica gonna have enough? When, when is these motherfuckers are gonna have enough? Just anybody that's watching this video, when are y'all gonna have enough? I mean, how much more could you bitches take? For real, when, when you can see all of that bad in a man and you continue to lay up with him like i hurt for y'all i hurt for y'all i really do because it's like the man is is making you you're not making the man for real and again i do use that name man briefly because i haven't seen a man yet besides kirk that's it Scrappy and is still young. He's still young. He's not there yet. He wanted, but he he ain't ready. He not ready. Look, he got Shea Bucky Johnson. I can't believe Mama D. Mama D, you slipping on your pimping, baby girl. You slipping on your pimping. Let me tell you why. You want your son to fuck with Shea Bucky Johnson? I mean, the bitch that was finna fuck with Flavor Flav. Did, did y'all hear me? Like, like for real. She was for the fuck with Flavor Flav. Like, I mean, Bucky, Shay Bucky Johnson ain't wholesome. Shay Bucky Johnson, who knew the fuck, who the fuck she was before she was Shay Bucky Johnson? You know what I'm saying? Nobody knew her either. Like, like for real, you want your son to fuck with something like that? A bitch that get on television to, you know, to throw that stuff just to try to win love from an ugly motherfucker. You know, flavor of love. Flavor of love. And that's supposed to be in reality, y'all. All of this shit, they call this reality TV. Chabu. But anyways, um, uh, yeah, you slipping on your pippin, um, Mama D. Um, but then again, I think you want it for yourself. I think you want it for yourself. I'm just being real. I, I can spot them. I can spot them. I know that every, every time I go around my homeboy, he gay. He be saying, oh, he, he. He trade and he trade. I be like, child, boo, you lying. You know, you think everybody trade. You know, my friend think everybody trade. But me, I'm going to tell you straight up. I don't have a gay daughter. But Mama D, you t you said it on uh, Funky and Eva, either um, Candy Code and Nights, that you kissed your hoes before. But I think you did more than kissed your hoes. It, it might not be in your hoes. Maybe it was just another chick that you, you know, you had emotional feelings for, you know, that you didn't put out on a stroll. Maybe it's just one of them. Them chicks that you know you ain't finna put out there but uh i believe you you had your your lay you know with a, a chick for real the way you was going off about shea bucket johnson i was like damn it looked like she caught a nut in her son's kitchen little scrappy he, he was gonna be sweeping up milk and cereal as well as uh mama d nut because she nutted talking about Shay. Oh, she you should talk to Shay. She's so you know, she got a nice body and come on now. Did you hit that? Come on now. 
Come on now, Mama D. I fucks with your girl. I fucks with you, but you slipping on your pimping. You don't want your son with no chick like that. Just think about it. If if Diamond left your son for Soldier Boy, who the fuck Shea Bucket Johnson gonna leave your son for? I keep on saying that shit. Who the fuck Mama D think Shea, Shea Bucket Johnson gonna leave her son for? Child, all I gotta say is, you know, some some pimps do be blinded by the booty. Some pimps do be blinded by the booty, and she do got a booty, but I don't rocks with her at all. Wait, 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 oh, you just taking up for her because she your baby mama? Are you taking up for her because you got feelings? Bitch, you shouldn't even ask that motherfucking question. But Scrappy got you in your place. He put you in your place. He said he don't give a fuck if, you know, she said that she hate him. She hope he die. God damn it. But, uh... He gonna take up for his baby mama. And it is, I understand you, Scrappy. I understand. But uh, speaking of your baby mama, Erica, uh, you need to grow up. That's some shit little girls do. Yes, I do think that every man should respect a woman. But you handled that. And I said in the last video that you, you know, you read Stevie J and shit. But, you know, when you presented it to Scrappy and Scrappy was like, he want to put them paws on him. You should have said, you know what, baby? I already handled it. It ain't no big deal. Because we all bitches. It, the bitch that's watching this video right now That swear to God she ain't no bitch is a bitch All of us is bitches We we just got two legs we don't got four But all of us is bitches Even some niggas out there is bitches Some of them just get in touch with their feminine ways You know that ain't nothing but the bitch in them So you know that, that nigga called you a bitch And you handle it But to get him out there And look scrappy you was wrong for taking her out there Because you should have took mama D out there you should have took, she would have got Jocelyn and put Jocelyn on her damn roster. Because every pimp know that if a pimp's hoe look at the, another pimp, oh, that means that that pimp can take their hoe. That, that's what it means. That everybody knows that in the pimp game. That pimp can take that hoe. He should have took Mama D so Mama D could take Jocelyn. Because that's all... Jocelyn is the Stevie J. He just got contracts on her. But he was a pimp before he had contracts on her. He was pimping her. Yes, he was. And Jocelyn would have known. If she was fucking with Mama D, I bet you Jocelyn probably would have known. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Speak when spoken to. Get get in the car hole. Get in the car. Just raise the pimp pen. Get in the car hole. That's it. That's all that pimp had to say. A real pimp. They would have just said it one time and that hoe would have heard her ass up in her motherfucking car. But Stevie J, he, he, done, he, done, he done fell in love with the hoe. You know what I'm saying? If you're not supposed to fall in love with the hoes, dog. You're not supposed to do that. No. These hoes need to know they put place and they position. Jocelyn, I felt a little little pain for you for a minute, but shit, you don't feel no pain for yourself. You, you look at it like... You know, another baby bites the dust. Shit, I done been to the abortion clinic a hundred times. Because that's exactly what you look like. I done been to the abortion clinic a hundred times. So, this ain't nothing. This one baby ain't shit, you know. So, I swallow this shit and get in the studio and start doing this shit right here. What what what, what did she do again, y'all? Like, what she do? What she is? And and them, play, them plaques, girl. Y'all remember that Play-Doh? Once the play doh with the, of different colors and they had the French fry one and you, you you mash out the fries and shit and you know with my play doh I made humans heads and I put corn rolls in their hair and that's it looked like she had play doh in her hair. I'm just talking about a childhood experience of mine, you know. It looked like a hairdo that I did out of out of play doh that what she had in that studio but you know you in the studio you ain't out you know communicating with other people so you in the studio with the with the dude and you know one of the kids you know you you just you know you're not in the public eye but that camera was on you you should have put on a head scarf or something like what I did the camera was on you so yeah uh, everybody know I take off my damn hair and show my corn rolls in a motherfucking minute but um What's the what's uh the thing that I want to say to Jocelyn? Hold on. What I want to say to you, Jocelyn, is you're not his old lady. Like I understand, Stevie J is he got your heart. He love you and everything. But bitch, when is you gonna have enough? Like how, how he gonna fuck you? Inside out over you know just uh, under the motherfucking sea he done fucked you under the sea 
and you still on his coattail like you still riding for him i'm so glad somebody put you on your ass i don't know who pushed you on on the time when they was fighting but i'm glad they pushed you on your ass now let's talk about this fight it wasn't a fight let me say that right now that wasn't a fight that was an opportunity for stevie j to cop and feel because he was holding scrappy. I thought he was humping on him for a minute. I don't know what the fuck I seen. I had rewinded it again. And I was like, this ain't no fight. This ain't no scuffle. This nigga is touching. He is touching. And the security guys don't know whether to drag him off or what. Because they, they like, what the fuck going on? That's why they dragged him. He like, why y'all dragging me? We dragging you because you humping this nigga leg like a dog. What the fuck? Get the fuck off of scrappy. I felt so bad. He violated you, scrappy, on Dash on the TV. He violated you. Bro, he did that. He violated your leg. He violated your back. He violated you, bro. I, I I know how you feel. So you know if you do put them paws on him, make sure he don't put his paws on you. That's all I'm trying to say, Scrappy. You know it's it's good that you fought for your your baby mama, but next time you tell that hoe. Look, don't put me in no situation like that because you could have got killed at the studio. You know how many niggas in the hip hop industry that died in a studio? Like for real, y'all shouldn't have did that. Mona, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have set that scene up for them to meet like that. They should have did what the women's do, call each other up. If Jocelyn could call Mimi and tell her she praying it, then Erica, you could have called. Uh, Jocelyn, uh, I mean, called Mimi and asked for her baby daddy number so her baby, your baby daddy and her baby daddy could meet up and squash it like real men, you know. But they just, you know, Scrappy didn't, Scrappy didn't know that he was gonna get felt up like that, you know. He didn't. Oh God, on national TV, dog. I hate this. Ooh, Jesus, I hate to be you. I hate to be you. But this gonna pass, bruh. This gonna pass. It's gonna come a day that we gonna act like we didn't see this nigga hump your leg. Uh, hump your back or whatever he was humping you know it's gonna be a day that we gonna we gonna forget about that so you know I, I, can't, I just can't pretend like I didn't see it I can't I can't do it y'all I just can't when she said that shit wait wait Jocelyn did, did you hear what you say ho yeah you, yeah you made me breakfast but then you took me to the abortion clinic you, 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 you ought to be good to do that or some shit she said I'm like bitch did you hear yourself how much more could your ass take <laughs> you ready you ready to ride for me yeah I'm ready to ride for your daddy child I just can't wait to see the next episodes, y'all. I don't know if I got anything else to say. It's just too many people with their feminine ways. Everybody is so feminine and shit. In, in the hip hop industry, the 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 you know modeling industry, any industry, it's some pimps and it's some hoes. Which one you gonna be? It's some pimps or some hoes. And some pimps is fucking fucking niggas. Some pimps are fucking boys. So they they go to it uh they must go to Faith World. Not Faith World, what it's called, um uh what's Eddie Long shit called? They must go to the 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 child, y'all know what the fuck. New birth. They must go to new birth. Stevie J, do you go to new birth? Stevie J, do you go to new birth? Cause I think Eddie Long is your pastor. Anyways, uh, or your bishop or whatever. Anyways, this your girl gets y'all. Bye. And and if Shay Bucky Johnson, let's let's get on her for a minute. I'm sorry, I know I just switched switched up real quick. Let's get on her real quick. Didn't she look like a Fraggle Rock, y'all? A furry ass Fraggle Rock on with a yellow bikini. I mean, she looked good, but that hair just needed to go. Shay Bucky Johnson, I'm gonna need you to know that this hair is called the Mila wig. It's a wig, honey, and and I got it from from you know lbeauty.com and um you need to you need to shop where I shop because this shit looked this spectacular by the pool that I went to the other day because I was by you know our neighborhood pool and shit and it looked this spectacular by the pool and you was by Scrappy Pool and the only thing that I could think of was is that Harry and the Hendersons wearing a bikini? Or is that a Fraggle Rock? A furry ass Fraggle Rock wearing a bikini. 
I had no idea what that was. I was I was just trying to figure it out on my own chat. As a viewer, as a as an audience, I'm signed for these hoes. I'm I'm exhaling for these hoes. I'm taking deep breaths like for these hoes. I'm trying to figure out, damn bitches, like how much more could you take? I mean, I'd rather for a nigga to fuck up behind my back than to fuck up in my face. For real? Like, for but real. there's no love. Uh, some of these bitches on here, to me, just, I, and I don't give a fuck how you feel that I call them a bitch and shit. Because obviously, bitch almost got, you know, scrappy killed. So, you know. Ooh, that was lightning. Okay, let me hurry up and finish this shit. But, um. baby mama and Shea Bucket Johnson uh, you was about to fuck Flavor Flav you a hoe he, he can't turn you into a housewife you ain't wholesome you was a hoe you 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 know let, let's just be real what bitch would just say that they they would try out for Flavor Flav you was just trying to get your name up out there and Shea Bucket Johnson it is there you go your name was out there you know but you was trying to get that you know you would have fucked for a buck for real and I don't know you might be fucking for a buck now who knows I ain't hear you do nothing else since the flavor flag shit i'm just being real you might look at me and say who the fuck am i well bitch i'm like who the fuck is you ho who the fuck is you all i know is you was about to fuck with uh flavor flavor flames smoking shit. more than just one two skip a few maybe they adding a little bit to what they smoking i don't know you know bath salts and all this other shit coming out who knows you feel me now if you in the music industry, if you in indie for any fucking industry where you're in the public eye and motherfuckers is always critiquing you and shit, I suggest the fucking smoke weed. I, I'm I'm an advocate. Smoke weed, bitch. So you can't have that I don't give a fuck attitude. But some bitches gotta smoke stuff that's harder than weed. Some bitches gotta, you know you know hit something that's hard i ain't never been one of them bitches my dad was one of them hell i know of a couple of people that i i could just you know i don't want to put their personal business out there but a couple of people that i know that is near and dear to me that fucking <clears throat> or you know lace their weed with something y'all know i always get sidetracked and shit but the music industry of pimp the talent agencies is a pimp. All of these bitches that's out there. I want y'all to see. All these bitches that's aspiring to be somebody. I want y'all to see the monsters in, in the flesh and blood. The ones that you want to stay far away from. The ones that's on your television screen. Stay away from them. P. Diddy, stay away from them. Uh, name somebody that P. Diddy brought out that's still out there right now. Don't worry, i wait. Okay. Anyways, uh, y'all need to know to stay away from these pimps. Y'all are going by this by any means necessary bullshit and this YOLO bullshit. You only live once bullshit. I seen a nigga jumping off a motherfucking bridge y'all with yolo around his like somebody took their lipstick and put drawed yolo around his torso he's jumping off a bridge into some water yolo y'all motherfuckers this generation here are some gullible motherfuckers i understand why pimping is this I understand why pimping exists. The government is a pimp. God damn it, YouTube is a pimp. Pimping exists because y'all are really trying to do whatever to make it. And y'all are just going for some gullible young kids. These young kids out here are like so gullible. They fucking they producers and shit to come up. And I'm talking about the kids, kids now. The kids. They fucking they producers. They're fucking them, you know, the people that don't want to be known. They, Jocelyn was never supposed to come out on the main screen to say she's pregnant by her pimp. That's why Stevie J is getting pimped by Jocelyn. 
ain't no pimp gonna let a bitch say some shit like that without no rep, not not no damn reparations or what they call it rep. Child, y'all know what the fuck the word is. I'm not gonna edit this shit. So without no repercussions, that's what the fuck I'm trying to say. What the fuck? Like I don't understand. I knew Stevie J wasn't from the A. I knew it. He said, "Come on, mom, too much." He gotta be from New York. He gotta be too from New York. He got to. Cause see, New York, they on they thug shit. They New York niggas, New York niggas, man, them niggas. First off, them niggas swag is just amazing. It's amazing. Like nowadays, you'll never know who gay. Nowadays, you'll never know who on the download. Nowadays, but it's it's out there. You know what I'm saying? It's out there. <laughs> ATL, y'all. Is where all the kids go. It's the kids' playground. It's the kids' playground. I'm talking about the kids' playground. I bet you bottom dollar that Stevie J is a bottom. I bet you bottom dollar that Stevie J is a bottom. I'm the first bitch to say it, bitch. I know I ain't the first bitch to say it though, cause everybody can see it. Shit, I mean, hello. You can see it. And I believe that even if this nigga just sit back, he the type of nigga that just say, I'm bisexual. Hoes will still be on his dick because he got money. He got to realize that. Hoes stick around because you got money. That's why they still stick with their pimps and shit, you know? Because they got money. Stevie J a pimp. But Jocelyn ain't pimping him. He not pimping her. Like... Honestly, to you young people out there, again, open your eyes, goddammit, and take notes. Because these are motherfuckers that you want to stay far away from. Y'all looking and sending them y'all CDs and sending them y'all demos. And, you know, some of them still sending them cassette tapes, like, off of Hustle and Flow and shit. You know, y'all sending this shit. Y'all sending them to the wrong motherfuckers. Y'all got to cut out the middleman and go straight to the big man. Because sometimes the big man want a taste of the little man, too. So, all I'm just saying is, y'all just be fucking careful. Be fucking careful, especially in the A. Especially in the A. Because, you know, Miami and, and, and basically down south, down south is hard to tell who's a man, who's a woman, Who's on the DL? Who's not on the DL? It's hard to tell. Everybody has been accused of being gay, and they were it. Everybody, it's a lot of gays that pisses me off. That sweater, everybody gay, but everybody ain't gay. But it's just a shame that you would never know who's who. I do think that if everybody would just stop being ignorant to sex. You know what I'm saying? Then it would be more people coming out. You know, the Frank Ocean shit, you know, he, he, he really hit the, the nail with the hammer when he said, I don't know how, what they say, that he hit the hammer with the nail or the nail with the hammer. Child, I don't know. I'm looking over here like it's some people over here. It ain't nobody over here. I'm just so used to looking over here and shit. Because y'all know I have company sometimes and shit. But, um. Child, hammer with the nail. He, child, y'all understand what I'm saying. But Frank Ocean it was right. You know, it could be ugly. It could be ugly. But sometimes it would be so beautiful because... Some people might not accept you for being what who you are for what you like, but they have to accept you because you're your family. You know, your family. My mom, she we never even have a talk about me being bisexual. It, it's like it is what it is, you know, and it's like she don't wanna see it and I understand that, but um I'm not really the, what I say I am, like I'm, I'm just a bitch that like to get my pussy ate. That's it. <laughs> That's all. Um, that ain't got shit to do with what the fuck going on here, do it? Shit, looks like I'm gonna have to do another damn, what's the name? Another damn bloopers and shit. But, um,